G'day guys, it is Ben here from Hunt the Night. Now, what we're going to do today is have a little bit of talk about resolution and specifically the differences between 640 and 384. Because I get a lot of people calling me and ask me, is a 640 sensor the best? And my answer is no. And then I've got a lot of people and then they ask me, is 384 the best? And my answer is no. Sensor isn't how I determine what scope I should use. Base magnification is, and secondary to that is field of view. And I say secondary because base magnification is our primary consideration because we want to be shooting in base magnification. And we want to do that because that's where the sensor operates its best. That's where the target's going to look the best. That's where the detail's going to look the best. And that's where it's going to be safest to shoot because we don't have any degradation of the image. Now, Yes, you can say, but what about field of view to see what's going on around? Exactly, you should have a monocular, or you should have some knowledge of the, of where you're shooting from anyway, that if you're using something on four power base magnification, you already know there's a shed somewhere. You know, you shouldn't. there shouldn't be a consideration. So what we're gonna need first is a fox. Now, I am not that much of an artist. My daughter is an artist, but I am not. Put some ears on it, a nose. Almost looks like a bloody fallow deer. Anyway, let's pretend this is our target. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. And let's pretend, now, when I'm talking about this today, I'm talking as if the scopes are like for like, because it's important to understand that this, we're not, that this is a like for like scenario. So for instance, if we've got two 50 mil scopes, one is 640, which is gonna be two base magnification, one's 384, and that's gonna be three and a half base magnification, okay? And the 640, Let's say it has a field of view and sees the scene with this fox like this, okay? And it's 640 by 480 pixels or 512 if you've got a better sensor than, than the standard 480 sensors, um, are dispersed evenly across here, okay? We've talked about it on, on other videos where you've got 640 pixels along this way and 480 that way and it creates rows and rows and rows of sensors, okay? So, if we overlay a 384 sensor by 288, maybe it only sees that much. But the pixel density is exactly the same. On base magnification, this fox is going to have just as much detail in a 384 sensor than it is a 640 sensor, because that's the way it works. It's not going to see this. So all these pixels are never gonna be used by a 384 sensor. It's not like the 384 sensor sees the same field of view. It doesn't. And this is a bit I don't think people understand real well. But that's what it is. There's no, there's no other way to explain it. The pixel density is, is exactly the same. Now it's gotta be like for like. When you're talking about having a you know, different size lens and different speed lens, you know, and so on. There are other influences that are going to affect picture quality, but if you've got two scopes with the same specification, side by side, you shouldn't really see any noticeable difference in image at base magnification because the pixel count is identical. Anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to say, and I hope that makes sense, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.